Hey guys, it is actually Tuesday. May somebody. May 7th. Um, and we are here to talk about our week goals. All right, y'all. I did not come up here yesterday because life was real in the field. We got up around five in the morning, four in the morning or so. We left about we left New York City, Harlem, at about five forty-five yesterday. Drove back, and we finally made it home. We had to drop Cindy off in D.C. Then Gwen dropped me off at my house. And I got to my house, it was after 11 a.m. So I went in the house, quickly took a shower, quickly put some clothes on, quickly put some clothes on, and then I made it to my mammograph, mammogram, mammography <laughs> appointment. Because item number one on my things to do list this week was to get a mammogram. I made that happen. I called, they had an appointment at 1245 and I got there at 1245 because like I said, the struggle was real. And she allowed me to take a picture. This is a picture y'all, look at that. Look at that, look at that. I don't know what it says or if, it, if there's anything up in there or whatever, but yeah. And you know, the thing about mammograms is you always hear the- The scary stories about, oh my goodness, they hurt. They don't feel good or whatever, whatever, whatever. But why mine feel like a massage? <laughs> it actually feel kind of good to me. Um, I don't know. The machine, I got the 3D thing and everything. So we're going to see how that goes and how much I'm going to have to pay out of my pocket for that. And um, yeah, it was not uncomfortable at all. It's amazing how big your boob spreads when they squish it down on that machine. Well, at least mine. But yeah, so did that, did that. And then after that, I went to work. Um, this week, oh, I, I'm gonna let you know, guys, I feel a little bit overwhelmed because this is one of those weeks where I have to make every moment matter. Every moment has to count this week. I almost thought about not doing this video, but this stuff still has to get done. So, number two, I need to ship book orders a lot of you know that I am a writer and I have books I have a novel holler at the moon I have a collection of poetry all black girls ain't got rhythm I have a non-fiction book called a course in gratitude then on top of that I had a sponsor sent me a product and they said it shows in their tracker that I that it's been delivered and it has not been delivered I gotta figure that piece out. I gotta get back with the sponsor, let them know I did not receive this product. Number three on the list is I have to clean the bedroom that my one tenant just moved out of because I have another tenant moving into it this weekend, Friday actually, this Friday. The next thing I need to do is change the code on my door and then it's just good to change it every so often but I don't know how to change it so I gotta figure that out. Number five on my list, I need to wrap up my issues with Sears. I need to cancel my home warranty with them because they suck. And um, I need to wrap that up. I had some issues that were still hanging in the balance and I went on a good vacation and then never followed up on it again. And that sucked, oh my God. Number six, y'all, I may be taking on a mentor, a mentee, I gotta relook at the dates again. Hopefully the dates don't have anything to do with this week. That would be awesome. But basically I have, oh my gosh y'all, this school reached out to me. Some years ago, I did a, I gave a talk at the school, I did a workshop at the school for the students. And the teacher, English teacher, all, years later emailed me because she was like, what an impact, she remembered the impact I made on the students. And that after that program that I did, they were actually able to start a program and it's gotten bigger and she wanted to know if I had some capacity to mentor one of her students who wants to be like a journalist and a writer you know that that sort of thing so I emailed her back and I let her know well these days I'm doing more YouTube content creating and I had some ideas of something that I could do with the student if she was interested in being a creator because I think these days it's not even just about being a writer it's about being a creator can you create content can you create mediums or medias or media can you create stuff 
that an audience gravitates towards. Number seven, keeping this thing all the way real, I said I would do three three mile walks this week. I'm not gonna do any yoga classes this week because I just don't even have the capacity to do that. Um, I have to work all the hours this week because next week I am going to Miami on a Wednesday. Number eight, I want to edit at least three videos. I want to record just one video and the one video is the video that we're doing right now. And number 10 on my list is to pay my medical bills. I have some medical bills um, from my last annual exam. And there you have it y'all. That's where we are at with the 10 goals we want to accomplish this week. <sighs> Send me energy. Send me energy. Alright, so I'm out of work now. I did 10 and a half hours and I just came and picked up my shoes. He did such a good job because I don't know if y'all noticed, probably not, but these were all scraped up and he painted them so that the backs, you know, from falling into cracks like and of course we have new taps so yay we got some more some pumps but I think today what I'm going to do is go home and edit and then tomorrow I'm gonna get up early and I'm gonna get to work earlier and that will stop my countdown earlier meaning that when I get out of work I will get out of work earlier oh I talked no I didn't I sent an email to the possible mentee so I'm waiting to hear back from her and then I also, oh, I got another tenant, guys. I have another tenant who will be moving in next week. So I have one moving in this week and one moving in next week. And I talked to the sponsor who said that the that I, that I it showed that I received the item that they sent me. But she said it was her mistake. She thought she saw my name on the list, but it wasn't. So that's all good. We don't have to find anything. It hadn't been delivered to me yet. And that's it. That is it. All right, battery's about to die. Okay, I thought I was going home but then I remembered some things that I wanted to do one of those things being go into this wonderful ATM and getting out money I never remember what's the most I can take out so this is let me take it out this one is letting me take out six hundred dollars and so I come back on another day and take out some more money and now, guys, I'm on my way to Starbucks. Hi, what is a pink drink? The pink drink is going to be the strawberry acai with coconut milk. All right, may I have that tall? And then may I also have two gift cards? I really came here for the gift cards. Ooh. Good morning, y'all. It is. Wednesday I'm going through it I um my eyes were itching a lot last night and sometimes I think during allergy season that happens not sure I don't know never been diagnosed with allergies or anything never went to a doctor for allergies so who knows who cares but this morning right when I was about to leave the house because I had a goal the goal was get to work early it is now 6 55 a.m. so that goal failed even though I got up at 5 this morning early to me man I was gonna be at work by 6 but anyways what had happened was right when I was about to leave my eye, my eyes started acting up it felt like I had a piece of hair in it and I was looking in the mirror trying to get it out but I couldn't but it's almost like I could see something on the contact lens so I took my contact lens out and my eyes ain't been right ever since. It's like this eye right here just keeps tearing up. This is the eye that I feel like I had a piece of hair in. I'm not feeling confident about this week's 10 things to do. I'm not feeling confident at all. Last week with my list, I was like, yes, we about to do it. That last weekend, I was like, yes, we gonna do this. This weekend, I'm like, mm, mm, maybe we'll do this. Hey y'all, it is Thursday, and let me just let you know that I was feeling some kind of way. I wasn't getting a lot accomplished. And then this morning, I woke up realizing 
and I had to change my story. And the story had to be, I couldn't keep saying, obviously it's Thursday now, so I couldn't keep saying, I'm gonna have so much to do, I got so much to do, I got so much to do, I got so much to do. I'm tired, 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 because that was leaving me with so much to do, but yet feeling too tired and unmotivated and uninspired. Uninspired don't even have nothing to do with it. I'm motivated to actually do things. I had to remind myself that this is all a game. Obviously, the 10 things is a game that I made up. And I'm about to penalize myself for a game I made up. I'm just not going to get a magnet this week. Right? And then also, life is just a game. So whatever doesn't get done, just doesn't get done. And it's okay. Like, it will all work out. So, yeah, yesterday, last night, I was able to go home and clean do a lot of cleaning of the bedroom that the tenant tomorrow, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., is gonna be moving into. Yeah, so I was able to vacuum extensively. I moved the bed, vacuumed under the bed, vacuumed all of the corners, did all of that. I dust and um, bleach, Windex bleached, you know, the spray cleaning stuff all the surfaces I took out some of the books not all of the books I got rid of some clutter like for instance I still had some cable wire from 1983 so I took all of that cable wire out because I don't have cable anymore I was gonna throw the cable wire away when I realized oh shucks we can play double dutch with this so I so want to play double dutch so I'm keeping it it's, that's how long that cable is and today, what I was able to get done, I was able to package up the orders that I need to ship out. I was able to get a lot of online shopping done at Walmart through Ebates. So I love the fact that Walmart is already low priced and with Ebates I get another discount on top of the discount. Plus I pay for it with my city prestige credit card which lets you do cash rewind or price rewind on your purchases. Which is necessary because I purchased an iron. I, the iron I've had, I've had for a good 20 years, y'all. And it still works. It's just starting to show some, it's starting to show its age. So I said, let me just buy a new iron. So, so the, the iron that I'm buying actually costs $100. And so I'm definitely going to put a price rewind on that. So that if ever it comes up cheaper, the credit card will automatically put that money back to your account. You don't have to do anything but register the product. And I'm just gonna be able to drive up and let them load it up into my car, but I'm still gonna have to go into Walmart because I wasn't able to select. Like I need to buy a sheet set and I need to buy some rugs for the bathroom and I wanna look at that stuff in person. So I'm gonna do all of that stuff tonight. The comforter, as I was washing it, I realized it had a little small rip. So I'm actually gonna sew that up. And um, Jay was like, uh, like I'm just being raggedy and tacky, but it's just a little rip. I'm gonna get purple thread to match the comforter and I'm just gonna sew that up. It's a good blanket, it's a good comforter. So it'll be okay. I need to clean the bathroom. Ugh. I need to clean the guest bathroom, the bathroom that the tenants use. My cleaner doesn't come to another Monday from now or whatever. And like I said, if I would have planned a little better, I would have planned where the cleaners would have been here. Or I would have at the very least charged the tenant who was moving out a cleaning fee. Especially since he gave me little to no notice. I should have charged him a cleaning fee. But I was not thinking through. So now, as your cleaner. I need to clean the washer. I'm going to show y'all why. This is totally disgusting but maybe you guys have a solution for it see see I have so many things on my list that wasn't part of the 10 things on my list and I've been doing this all week y'all oh and then also what I did was I talked to the young lady who I will be mentoring between May 20th and May 31st I am her internship she's gonna be interning for me but with the, more than an internship I really want it to be a wonderful valuable and enriching learning experience for her so I'm gonna set up a nice curriculum with a series of either some field trips or some Skype sessions with some of the writers who I know personally and we just gonna make it happen we gonna make it happen I'm just gonna work some really strange hours during those two weeks that I'll be mentoring her but it's okay 
I work like night shifts and stuff. I'll make it happen. I, but I want her to really walk away with some great contacts, some great information, and just to be informed about what she wants to do, which is be a writer and be a journalist and that sort of thing. Alright, so I'm picking up some things and apparently they're inside of here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Oh, look how cute! Yep. Oh my goodness! One. It's retrieving the eye. Oh, look at it lights up! Okay, you can tag that. Okay. Do you want to hold this? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, she's taking it out, people. I'm like easily amused. Okay, and then look the pack and roll, my guys. And then there will be one more, and the other two will be inside. Okay. Let me show you guys what came in this order. Um, everything is in here today, so some's gonna come back this weekend. So I got four pillows. Four of these pillows won't go flat, and they won't go flat. One floor lamp. I also, I actually got two floor lamps, but one wasn't here. Toilet paper, because who doesn't need toilet paper? Some light bulbs. Two packs of those. And this, this is the reason for the season. We need to tighten y'all because I'm gonna show y'all with my phone um, what this camera's doing. This right here, here, look at that. It's supposed to be flat, but it's wobbly. And it's wobbly because these nails right here, one nail, two nail need to be tightened. And if we look in there, we can also see I lost the nail. Look at that nail right there. Pure missing. That nail right there is right there. So we're going to open up this cool tool kit so that we can repair y'all. Okay. So as y'all know, we put that one load in the car. Now we are back in Walmart. And I'm going to show y'all what I got. And y'all know the rules. Y'all know the rules. Just, just look at what I got. All right, so this is what I got. <laughs> All the frozen food, y'all. Um, cause I'd be wanting to try stuff. We have some Maria cookies, some sardines, boneless and skinless in cans, cause I am gonna make some frittata. Some sun-dried tomatoes, oatmeal, plain oatmeal, regular that, and then some yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, and some raisins. Coming to this end of my cart, we have some rugs for the bathroom. I don't know which color I want to go with, so I'm just going to get them both and I'll return which one doesn't work. And then a sheet set for the tenant. So that's what we have. Let's go check out. All right. I'm done for now. What time is it? Hold on. It's 11, 11 p.m. I am done for now. But let me show you. All right, we got this room together to the best of its ability. I also cleaned this bathroom, which makes me question the cleaners cleaning. I cleaned this toilet, y'all, and then this tub, and I need to get a new one of those hair traps. And these are the new rugs, so we decided to go with this color. So ashamed to show this, but I'm gonna clean this tomorrow morning. I'm too tired right now, but look at this, all this mold, right? This is where the fabric softener goes, but clearly the fabric softener must go in there and just sit. I hardly open this because a lot of times I just use the pods, which you throw directly in a washing machine, so I don't see this too often, but good morning y'all it's like five in the morning i have to clean this part and i've done it once before i don't remember how and i don't feel like reading the instructions or finding them so i think i need a bowl i think a towel was involved let's see what happens Yeah, 
Andre, can you come help me? <laughs> See what happens when I hear you moving around. I have the camera on. What the hell? What? I can't with you. All right, so this is what I, I got to clean this out, right? Yeah. This is why, all right, I should have bought the pedestals that go with this so it could be higher, but I didn't. So you need me lift it? Uh, no, you can't lift it. What right. I need you to do is see this right here? I got to hold this down, this little white piece, and then I'm going to unscrew this and I'm going to catch the water in this. So all of that's going on at so the same you time. Hold this Ooh, that stinks. Oh, all oh, of this stuff stink. All right, maybe this towel will just have to absorb the water. And then maybe, like, we do like this, and then maybe, maybe it runs on the towel, and then we just have to kind of keep changing the towel. And we haven't even taken it off all the way yet. Ooh, here we go. And then look at that. Okay, so all the water came out. Okay, we're good. You're good. Then I just gotta get in there and try to clean that out. But this thing catches stuff. Like when people like Andre huh? don't empty out his pockets. See, this is what happens. And this is why from time to time you gotta clean this thing out. So we got 57 cents and an earring. Andre, is this your earring? Ah, ah. What does it matter? Got these here for you. Got these here. Got these here for you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, y'all. I have the dishwasher going, and I have a load in the washing machine of towels and face cloths mainly. All right, let me go and get dressed. We did it, y'all. All right, so it is about 8.15. The new tenant will be here around 9 a.m. And so we will greet her, show her around the house, give her the lays of the land, and then I will be on to run more errands, and then I will be going to work. We made it in the car. Yeah. Let me tell you. All right, so we on our way to one errands. Happy Friday. Did I tell y'all happy Friday? I don't even know. Happy Friday. All right. <laughs> so far, I downloaded the footage that I had for this um, week, for these week goals. Y'all, I got over two hours worth of footage. I can't be talking to y'all. We're going to keep this short. Now we are on our way to center, the community center, so that I can get another key fob for the gym I'm gonna get some of them white picket fence things and then um, I'm gonna pick up my passes for the community fair that we have and like I said because where my house is located I get to go for free well first of all I'm on my way to the post office to ship out book orders and I want to thank everybody who has been supporting my business and my art and purchasing my books that means so much to me writing is my first love and my first passion okay y'all we are at this good post office right now so on my way to work where I will be for all the hours I'm gonna be at work probably till 9 or 10 o'clock tonight so let Jay know if he's looking for me that's where he can find me at my work number let them know y'all let them know all right y'all it is oh it's 10 p.m i'm just getting home from work y'all were with me up at five this morning so let's wrap it up where am i what did i achieve we started off with 10 goals realistically what did we do i had my mammogram done and i did manage to ship out the book orders I cleaned the bedroom. That is where we departed from the plan because cleaning the bedroom 
entailed a few things. Decluttering, sewing a blanket, washing the blanket, going shopping. That took up much more time than originally projected. We did get in touch with my newest mentee. We edited four videos, not just three, but four videos. We managed to record two videos and we managed to pay the medical bills. Now, what did I not achieve? I did not change the door code. I did not wrap up the business with Sears. I did not walk three times this week. And actually, that's it. So actually, that's not too bad. Because let me tell you all the things that I did do that wasn't on this list. I did all the shopping. I got all the stuff for my HOA. I cleaned out that freaking washing machine. Y'all know that was needed. I secured another tenant who will be moving in next week. I went to New York and did not get back till Monday. So that cut into, you know, the time that I had to do my 10 things. I prepped all the gifts that I needed to prep. And I worked a whopping 48.5 hours this week. So that's what it was. That's what it is. And I'm going to tell you, this week was a little bit of a, a rough week for me. Um, my energy wasn't as high. So that is it, y'all. Once again, thank y'all for rocking with me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already a member of the Fab Fam. And leave a comment below so we can have a conversation. Until next time, y'all. Before I say peace, I'm just going to let you know. I don't think I'm going to do a 10 things this weekend. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. I don't think I'm going to do a 10 thing this weekend because I am going to Virginia Beach this weekend to celebrate my mother and my grandmother and me and my sisters and my aunts and all of that stuff. We don't have nothing planned. But happy Mother's Day. Until next time. Peace.